Hi, my name is Jason, and I'm working with SketchUp to support our growers who are uh, trying to plan their farm. I have a background in entrepreneurship, so the ultimate goal for my tutorials is to help strengthen your farm business plan. SketchUp is a, a tool for three-dimensional drawing, and at Bright Agritech, we use SketchUp in several important ways. You can visualize your farm layout with specific measurements, troubleshoot your workflow, plan your budget, use it as a blueprint during uh, construction, and also you can use SketchUp to present your drawings to partners, customers, or investors. I also wanted to mention our ABLE farm planning software. When you're ready to plant your first crop, you can use this free online tool to manage almost every aspect of your operation. The software supports your crop diversification strategy, and it walks you through every phase of your business. These are some of the ways that we're supporting the growers in our community. So I'll go ahead and start with a blank canvas here. And one of the first things I'll do is just draw a rectangle to help us get a surface to work on. The next thing I'll do is bring in a house with some cars to help give us some scale for the model. And I'd like a little bit larger of a rectangle, so I'm going to go ahead and pull out the edge of this rectangle a little bit. And now we're ready to get started. I'm going to go ahead to the landscape and vegetation and find some green grass that I can use. I also like to add an animation scene under View Animation. This lets me return to a particular point of view if I ever need to get back to there. So let's go ahead and draw the floor plan. I'll be working with a 20 foot by 36 foot cold frame hoop house, which is a great size for most beginning growers. This greenhouse plan comes with a pricing spreadsheet that we put together that helps you estimate all the costs uh, for your final build. So if you haven't watched the SketchUp beginning tutorials, I highly recommend uh, take 20 minutes to go through those. It can really help give you the tools you need to use SketchUp effectively. When I start my rectangle, I'll just type in 36 feet, comma, 20 feet, and this gives me the exact measurements that I want. I would like a gray floor to work on just so I can see the dimensions that I'm working in. Let's go ahead and mark up our floor plan. I'll use the tape measure tool and I'm going to give myself guidelines. I need about 5 feet 10 inches at the entrance of the greenhouse for my workspace and my seed benches. I also need about 2 feet from the walls of the greenhouse so that my growing racks don't bump up against the plastic. I have about 30 feet for my growing racks. This is enough room for six growing racks with about 150 zip grow towers. Again, I'll add another scene so I can zoom in here. And the first thing that you will want to build in your greenhouse is probably your drainage tank and uh, your return, um, your nutrient tank and your return drainage pipes. So I'll be using a 275 gallon IBC tote. 
I know that this is about three feet by four feet wide. So using the pencil tool, I'm going to mark a guideline about three inches from the corner of the greenhouse. Then I'll draw a rectangle about three feet wide by four feet long. And SketchUp gives me really nice guidelines, so I'm always on measurement. I'll cut out the floor of the greenhouse for my hole. And then I'm going to go ahead and import the tank with drainage. And you can see I have a corner of the frame here that I'd like to grab and drop into the edge of my greenhouse. It takes a little bit of getting used to, uh, which is why I, I encourage the SketchUp tutorials. So there's my tank and my drainage. I'm going to go back to the overhead scene. And if you have any custom widths or dimensions in your greenhouse, I can show you a little bit later on how to customize these drainage measurements. But for now, this should be fine for us. Um, for more advanced users, um, you can start to work with layers, which helps you to hide certain parts of your drawing uh, while you're working on other parts. Uh, so they don't get in the way. So I'm just going to add a layer here that says drainage. And then when I put it in the drainage layer, I can go ahead and hide it. But it's still there. I, I just need to get it out of the way for a little bit. <clears throat> 